Hello everyone! Today we will conduct a very beautiful experiment which I like to call the irrepressible solution or a chemical silver clock. For this experiment we will need the following reagents sodium metabisulfate, potassium iodate, silver nitrate and potato starch. To conduct this experiment we also need to prepare three different solutions. For the first solution take 0.7 gram of sodium metabisulfate and dissolve it in 20 ml of distilled water. Now let's prepare the second solution. Take 0.5 gram of potassium iodate and dissolve it in 35 ml of distilled water. Now we need to prepare the starch solution. To do this, take a glass and add a little potato starch there. Fill it with cold water and stir it to dissolve the starch. Next, fill the beaker with boiling water and that should follow with the starch being dissolved and we'll get so-called starch paste. Add a small amount of the starch paste into the solution of potassium iodate. And our second solution is now prepared. For the third solution, we need 0.17 grams of silver nitrate, which we dissolve in 40 ml of distilled water. Now in the second beaker, which is filled with potassium iodate solution, and another 120 ml of distilled water. It is also acceptable to spread that volume of water into all of three beakers. Now we can conduct the experiment. Take the cups with the first and third solution and merge them into a large glass with our second solution. After doing so, the liquid should become white. This happens because the silver iodide has been formed. Furthermore, the silver iodide reacts with the sodium metabisulfate and this forms the silver iodide. Now the solution eventually becomes black and it is because of free iodine, which is forming and reacting with the starch. Starch is a very good indicator of iodine. Let's do the reaction again, but just making it slightly more interesting. I am draining free solution into one glass, and now we'll try to pour this solution into another cup and see how the color will change. Here you can see that the solution first turns white and then it gradually turns yellow. Eventually, the solution becomes black. During the second time, the black color doesn't appear immediately, through gradually, because we haven't stirred the solution. 